Hello everybody, this is the Vix Tramp. 2021 was not the best year for movies ever. It was better than 2020, but that was merely because 2020 was so horrible that it is still the worst movie year since 1969. But one of the best movies of 2021, which actually surprised me the most, was actually how fucking awesome Free Guy was. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Because this is Free Guy. So Ryan Reynolds plays Guy, he lives in Free City and uh, he is uh, kind of stuck in a loop. He does the same thing every day but he seems content with it. He works in a bank that always gets robbed by the cool people, the eyeglass wearing people, the sunglass wearing people who seems to be, you know, the heroes and the villains. So they always up to stuff and blows shit up but that's okay. He just enjoys himself so much but then he falls in love with one of these eyeglass wearing people that uh, in a moment of, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna change something today, he takes the sunglasses of one of the bank robbers and puts it on and then his entire world changes and he can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Because it turns out that Guy is a NPC, a non-playable character in a video game. And all the people with glasses are actually, you know, uh, they're actually players in this game. And the thing is that um, uh, the woman that he's in love with, the guy, with the, the, the chick with the glasses, she is actually a, a programmer who has actually constructed this game, but it was then stolen from her by an asshole uh, programmer played by uh, Taika Waikiki, aka the best thing in Hollywood right now. And she believes that maybe Guy can help her in her quest to regain control over her game because she believes that she can find the code hidden inside of the game to prove that she's actually the developer of this uh, game. The game basically that they're playing is basically like a combination of Fortnite and The Sims or something like that. The, the thing is that um, this movie started kind of like an action comedy, kind of like a Michael Bay wet dream, but it gradually changed into more of an almost romantic comedy kind of a movie. And I wasn't expecting that. Furthermore, I really wasn't expecting the fact that I was going to be so, so immersed in the story because you're getting very immersed in the story. You're actually starting to rooting for, you know, uh, you know this programmer and guy, even though she's, uh, she's you know, just the avatar for, for the programmer and he is a non-playable character. So they can never be together, but they have such great chemistry together and there are so many sweet and tender moments between them that you're actually kind of surprised saying that, yeah, I think this movie is actually kind of amazing. And also, they were even able to squeeze in a lot of really, really thought-provoking themes in this one that made you think a lot about, you know, the story. Plus, this movie is also a visually absolutely flawless movie. <laughs> a lot better than I, was, than I was expecting it to be. The ending of this one is a little bit overcooked, overcomplicated, and the movie is a little bit too long for its own good. Uh, it could have been trimmed down by like 10-15 minutes or something like that, but apart from that, and apart from that, I thought that they could have used violence in another way in this movie. I thought that, you know, the history of video game violence and stuff like that, you could have built, you know, a thing around that this movie was going to you know, feature such excessive violence that it became ludicrously, you know, over the top that you would go almost, ha ha ha, that was so insane. But I guess a PG-13 will have to do it, but ah, it was a little bit of a shame because it was nearly that beast of a movie I wanted it to be. Speaking of beasts, the best thing in the entire movie is, of course, Dude, also played by Ryan Reynolds. When you see Dude, that is the best part of the movie. I belly laughed hard when he showed up. The movie is visually spectacular, the movie is very funny, especially Reynolds is so funny in this one, and so good. This is basically the role he was born to play. It's funny too, it's strange that it took him so long to really find his stride, but he, here is fucking amazing. Even though Shannon Tatum's 
virgin base dweller actually almost you know outclasses him the, the sequences with him were so damn funny and the, the entire story of them finding the code and stuff like that and the battle against the clock in the end is actually really really fun the other characters in this movie are okay but Taika Waikiki he was absolutely fantastic Antoine is one of these fantastic small little characters that despite him not having that much screen time he does make a big splash Freedom is a very creative, very funny, very fast-paced and very entertaining movie. If you've never seen it, I would really recommend it. It is one of these movies that could have been, if it would have been casted otherwise, been a bit boring and a bit lame. But Ryan Reynolds makes sure that this movie is far from lame and is just one of these great little fun, uncomplicated popcorn movies that you can just watch and uh, see that uh, the idea of making movies is to entertain and this is escapism about as escapism -ish as you ever could go I really dug this movie a lot I thought that this movie could have trimmed down a little bit bloodied up a little bit it's, it could have been great also this is one of these cases where you don't care about whether or not you know a guy should have been dead because so and so happened to him because they are actually in a video game Free Guy gets, of course, 90 points. I love this movie. I think this movie is absolutely great. I think this movie has a great bunch of great side plots and stuff like that to it. It's really entertaining. It's really fantastic. If you've never seen it, watch it because you will not be sorry. So I'll see you next time for my so and so reviewing. Well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.